What if the reason you have so much stress around money is because you were never given the right mindset? Over the past 20 years, I have met many wealthy people. I have observed their life and then came up with common mistakes and common characteristics that they have when they were creating wealth. Regular people seem to think that money is something that uh, they can enjoy. So more money is more fun. So they're wishing that one day, please, you know, uh, and that's why there's always a long line for lottery tickets. But their mindset is that way, so they're not going to get it because they think that money will be delivered to you somehow, miraculously. Wealthy people think that it might take a long time, but they know how to attract wealth. It's not just a spiritual practice that every day you pray for wealth and then wealth will show up on your door. It doesn't happen that way. Not many wealthy people were born to riches. So what happened to them? In the course of creating wealth, they found what they were very good at. For example, they found out that they were very good at selling. So that is like a seed. So they grow the seed, they water them, they, they nurture them, and becomes a tree. So once it becomes a tree, it bears fruits. Whatever that is, it takes years to grow. But uh, regular people just seem to think that uh, money will just suddenly become a tree and then it will give you uh, money every year. But wealthy people think it's going to take at least five years, seven years, ten years. When you're small, uh, your parents may have told you, you know, we don't have a money tree, you know. But wealthy people do. Money tree in the shape of rental apartment or some stocks or some other venues. So they keep residual income from the assets they own. These wealthy people didn't become wealthy overnight. They started investing the uh, difference between the income and the expenses. Regular people, they spend it all or they sometimes go into debt. So they have nothing left over every month. Regular people tend to hold on to a job that pays you enough to pay all the bills. Wealthy people, on the other hand, uh, they think in long term. Right now, they're doing the same thing exactly. It could be a cooking, could be a coaching, could be a, a sales, but in a few years, they'll make a big difference. Whatever that is, you start doing more. And in a matter of a few years, you'll be super good at so you can start selling more and with that practices you make some money but don't spend it all even though your income grows you can keep the expenses low so every month you have some money left and then you can start investing so this mindset is something you can learn from wealthy people but unfortunately those things are not taught at school so if your parents are not wealthy and if your parents didn't teach you these things, we have to start learning from somebody. You can start from books, and also there are so many courses on money. And by learning about money, uh, you have more knowledge, and you have more skills, you have more experiences around money. So that way, you make a big difference in the course of five years, 10 years, and 20 year time. To become truly wealthy, you don't need to be super rich. You know, by cutting down your cost or by downscaling your lifestyle, you may be able to find financial peace with your life. So don't try to overwork yourself and just find out your balance and then uh, find your financial peace in yourself. So true wealth is about your attitude toward life. If you can start appreciating what you have and all the things you've done in your life, you can achieve not only your financial independence, but also true wealth in your own style. So don't overthink it. Your true wealth is just within you. As long as you can pay all the bills, you don't need to have extra money. So just enjoy your freedom, enjoy your life. If you can celebrate your life, that is true wealth right there. If you want to learn more about money and how to be free from its control, Check out this video now.